Dude, I'm so embarrassed right now, I can barely show my face. I have filmed like 10 intro clips at the beginning of the day and just wouldn't finish the video. And so today, that's it. I don't care We're finishing the video today, man. I promise you. I'm gonna film you just a typical day in the life of a summer medical year one between year two student. Okay, right now we woke up, we had a cup of coffee, sorry, forgive me, I forgot to film that. Uh, I told you, so now you know. And now we're heading to the gym. I'm gonna show you a quick back day routine. I'm taking my camera in there. We're heading to the gym right now. We're about to take some pre-workout. Ooh, look at that. Look at that freaking quality, man. I'm gonna show you all the back day routine, and then from there I will show you all what I typically do in a day. Right now it's about 9.13 a.m. I woke up around 8, had a cup of coffee with my family, and now we're, we're on and about, we're out and about. We're four days out from the first day of second year, and I've been telling myself I'm gonna film videos for six weeks. Six weeks! No videos have been uploaded, I've been busy, man. Matt King, no time! Cause I love the adrenaline in my veins, I do whatever it takes! We're deadlifting today, and then after we're deadlifting, we're doing a lot of accessory work, and uh, I'm, I kind of build my way up to deadlift, so you'll, you'll see that. I don't know if I'll show all the clips, but I'll show um, some of them. Usually a really heavy set, top set, and then I drop down, not too much, hit a couple more sets after that, and then from there, it's accessories, and really, that's how I get the best of both worlds with powerlifting and bodybuilding. I really like to go heavy, and, and have those powerlifting compound movements that build almost every single muscle in your body, and then after that, I like to kind of uh, tone down and have a little bit more hypertrophy work. <sighs> Yeah! Uh, if you keep failing, don't worry, just keep trying because true failure is when you give up. That's my 10 seconds of advice. How good, man. I like that. So eventually, everybody's gonna get into med school or dental school or whatever. At the end of the day, I really recommend everybody to take at their time in their professional schools and really I'm, enjoy I'm, I'm, it. I'm, I'm. It goes by really, really fast, so really enjoy it. Uh, one word of advice I would give is like, kind of don't like worry about what people around you are doing. like. Focus on what you got going on. Put good people around you that want to see you succeed. Everyone around you is going to be really competitive and you're going to feel like you're not doing enough. Uh, that's enough, that's enough. My fault. <laughs> okay, so my tip for success, medical school specifically, is do your cards. Always keep up with your cards. No matter who's your wedding, even do your cards that day as well. Uh, don't forget your morals whenever you enter a professional field. Don't, don't forget yourself. Advice, be very hardworking and never be scared to ask for others for help as well. Alright, one word of advice I'd give for incoming grad students, especially medical and dental students, is uh, instead of watching videos and just reading uh, PowerPoints and textbooks, definitely do practice questions and Anki cards, because doing that will help you like 10 times more than just reading stuff and you know passively learning to where you won't retain anything. Alright guys, make sure you warm up. Don't do 315 without warming up. Don't do 5 pound dumbbells and do 315. That's a word of advice. Alright guys, the quote that I live by is, if a man that doesn't stand for something will fall for anything. Remember that. So just a, a life tip or advice is uh, you're a product of your environment and just because your circle may be bigger doesn't mean it's merrier. A bigger circle may not be merrier. Keep your circle tight and just always remember that you'll become that product of your environment. Alright, so basically we got home from the gym. Um, we made breakfast, we ate it with my family. By the way, it feels amazing to just be around family. I live alone in medical school, so just being around family and being able to talk to them. And you know, I don't usually have people to talk to when I'm eating food. I just watch YouTube or something. So now it's just a great feeling. For the past six weeks, I've been having so much fun. Um, and now I have a quick meeting. I'm learning how to build a website for an organization here at my school. So um, I'm having a meeting with one of the students here and um, they're gonna show me, walk me through the steps because they're very familiar with it. And um, in the summer, I've just, I haven't been really doing any new studying. Um, all I've been doing is keeping up with uh, new flashcards, or sorry, old flashcards, um, so that I don't kind of retain information. Microbiology has a lot of nitpicky details that you have to remember, and it's, if I have to pick one thing to kind of keep up with, it's definitely microbiome. So um, all your viruses, fungi, bacteria, um, and all that um, not very fun stuff. <laughs> so I'm um, just keeping up with that mostly, and a little bit of pathology here and there. So um, keeping up with Anki cards is key throughout your first year of summer. That way, whenever boards come around, um, step one, you're not cramming everything in during dedicated all over again. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to hop on this meeting because I'm already, it was supposed to be at two and it's 2.03. So I'm about to hop on and hopefully this guy's not mad at me. So peace out.
Mm -hmm. So basically now, I'm sorry for switching the uh, quality of the camera. I'm switching to my phone now because I left my camera at home. However, now we are headed to a dentist appointment. So basically, summer med school, there's a lot of things that I put off throughout the year. I don't see the dentist. I don't renew my license, my registration. Um, there's a lot of busy things that um, sometimes, you know, you end up saying, I need to do, I need to do, and you never end up doing it. And so a lot of the time throughout summer, it's just me kind of catching up on things. I need to go to my dentist right now. I have literally filling that have fallen out of my teeth that are just empty holes right now that I need to fill. Juma Mubarak Yachwan, we went back home, we changed. Now it's Friday prayer time. Uh, for those who don't know, it's a 30 minute lecture for us Muslims every Friday and um, followed by a prayer. And it's mandatory, always good reminders, good vibes, and I'll show you how to slide in a bit. So, I know I, I, I slacked on filming the rest of the video. I, I apologize. However, we are now back in the city of my medical school. To finish off the video, what I can do is just show you kind of the setup. So I used to have a gaming PC um, and I used to have it set up to this ultra wide monitor. Um, it, it was hard because our school gives us Macs and it was hard kind of transferring files between PC and Mac. So I switched to um, full time Mac with a laptop and I bought a monitor, which I'm going to show. And now I'm working on the setup. School starts up on Monday. I did want to get a head start. However, I was not able to. I had a very busy summer with family and friends. So um, I have tomorrow to try to get a head start and then Monday we officially is our first start day. I just got back literally an hour ago. I unpacked all my stuff and I'm doing this, fixing up this setup right now. It should take me hopefully no more than like an hour and a half or two. And I'm trying to keep the uh, wire management which is gonna take me the longest. All right, everyone. Again, I wanted to apologize again for not being able to finish up the video. However, I really did carry, get carried away. It was my last couple of um, days in Houston, and that's where I'm from. So I was really enjoying my time with friends and family. Didn't want to have to pick up the camera and, and worry about filming. However, I promise you, this semester, first semester of second year, we are going to try to pump out some content, at least a video or two, minimum. So. Um, yeah, so here we are um, at the new setup. So I'll show you a quick rundown. Um, you got the studio monitor here. I have it hooked up to my um, laptop and iPad right there. And then I have some fancy lights. This used to be completely different. It used to be a bunch of, um, hold up, this is the magic trick right here. Voila, looks 10 times longer. This used to be a gaming PC, however, I did switch up. And so for med school, usually kind of depends on what kind of person you are. For me, um, I like taking my own notes sometimes closer to the exam date. Leading up to the exam date, I'm purely on key. So like, I'm just hitting flashcards over and over and over. And then a day or two before the exam, I sit there, open all up the lectures, and I read through them, take my own notes, um, and, and really focus and, and hone in on my weaknesses um, before the exam. And so really, I just wanted to upload this video as kind of like a, um, you know, I'm back, hopefully. Um, this year, we're gonna try to get one or two videos at least um, this semester, and then maybe um, one or two more this semester after that. Semester after that, we start board studying, so I'm probably gonna be a little bit more busy. However, we are still going to try our best to kind of push out content. And yeah, now that we are in the midst of things as well, hopefully we have a little bit more time. Um, right here, I'm gonna start the beginning of each year. Um, I do a little bit of reflection, and I'm kind of write out my goals um, for this uh, coming medical school year. And so I'm about to write that down before we start up tomorrow as like our first official day. That way I can kind of stay organized and, and really have a checklist of things I want to get accomplished throughout this year and hold myself accountable really. I well, hope you enjoyed the video. It's not really anything too special. Again, it was just kind of like a, um, we're back. So uh, um, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe um, and you can kind of follow me on this journey. And yeah, peace out.